What's up everybody, it's Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to split shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start this tutorial by splitting a triangle in half and we'll split some other shapes in different ways. I'm gonna first create a triangle, that's going to happen by going to the rectangle tool over here in the toolbar, going down to the polygon tool, and then clicking on your canvas anywhere and it's gonna pop up and say, hey, how many sides do you want? I want three sides, don't care about the radius, we'll expand that later. Hit OK and there's my triangle. Now, uh, your fill and stroke may be different depending on what your setting is. You can see them over here on the left or over here on the right once you have a shape created or up top if you're not in the new 2018 properties panel. But anyway, just change this to a fill, no stroke, and I can expand this up by holding Shift and Option or Alt, and there we go, we got a big triangle on here. Okay, so what I like to do is create these little guides out of line segments and then I'll split my shape on those guides. That's basically what's going to happen. So I'm going to grab the line segment tool, uh, create a vertical line by holding shift. That's going to lock it into like 45 degree angles. So I can create a perfectly vertical line. Uh, the, as far as the, uh, the, the stroke of it, it doesn't matter. But if I do go ahead and add a stroke, like uh, one point, I can actually see the line now, so that's helpful to me. And then I can select both of these shapes, and we're going to center that line on the middle of this triangle. So I'm going to click on the triangle that has it highlighted as a key object. And if I find my alignment panel over here, it's also up in window down to align. We can pop that out if we want. I'm going to align the horizontal uh, center. So now that line, that vertical line that we created is right in the center of my triangle. So next thing I want to do is actually grab the fill color from the triangle. So I'm going to switch to the eyedropper tool. That's the I key for the shortcut. It's over here on the left in your toolbar if you're looking for it. And I'm going to eyedropper the triangle. Notice how my fill and stroke change now so that the, uh, they match the triangle. I want to do that because when I select my shape builder tool, you'll see here in a second, uh, make sure you select all the objects on your artboard first. And then we're going to select the shape builder tool. Uh, because that's the fill and the stroke, when I click on these, it's going to apply that fill and stroke when we create the shape because it's really creating separate shapes. So notice how uh, it sees where this line segment splits our triangle and it knows that there's two shapes there. All I have to do is click on that shape and I can even click on this shape if I want to just for good measure. And now it's created separate shapes. It's split that thing in half. So if I go back to my selection tool, make sure I deselect everything, I can actually click and drag these pieces out. So we have officially uh, split our triangle in half. And now I can, I can always delete out these extra little line segment pieces. The middle part gets deleted on its own. Uh, and that's how you split those. So let's split something else differently. Let's say uh, we create a circle with the ellipse tool. I'm going to find my center here. Uh, that's the smart guides that are helping me find that. I'd always turn those on because we're going to use them to uh, help us align things always. But uh, smart guides, command U or control U. I'm going to find the center, shift, alt, or shift, option to create a circle out from the center. Boom, there it is. All right, now line segment tool again. This time I'm just going to create some arbitrary vertical and horizontal lines. Make sure they're big enough to cover the circle. Shift back to that selection tool. Shortcut key is V. I'm going to select both these. I'm going to give them a one point stroke just so I can see them. There they are. Now I'm going to select everything. Click on the circle. Remember, that's our key object. We're going to align everything to it. Horizontal and vertical align. That's going to align those line segments right to the middle. Now I select, well, don't select everything yet. Remember, we need to uh, eyedropper that circle color. So I'm going to go ahead and Hit I and eyedropper that circle. Okay, good. Now that's my fill and stroke. Now I'll select everything and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Boom, we got all these quadrants set up. All I have to do is click on each one. Perfect. Go back to the selection, click off to deselect, and now I have all these separate pieces. So quarter circle, half circle, three quarter circle, whatever you want to create. Uh, last one, if we don't want something so symmetrical, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's go to the rectangle tool. We're going to create a square out here. Uh, the line segment tool is a little slashy key on your uh, keyboard. And then if we just create like a line through this guy, and let's say I want to keep that line for later. Well, I'm going to hold Option or Alt and just duplicate that line up here. I'm going to select both of those lines. Make sure I give it a little bit of a stroke so I can see it. Cool. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is probably center these up. So we're going to shift click on that square to make sure we get everything selected. 
click on the square. Now it's the key object. I'm going to horizontal align center those. I'm just going to make sure all the, uh, the middle points are the same. Okay, cool. I'm going to split this square with this line segment. So once again, shape builder tool. Okay, it sees them. Now I forgot to select my square first, so I'm going to make sure to do that. There we go. Now it's got that fill. Now we can select everything. And because that was the last sort of fill that I selected, it's going to show up here when I use my shape builder tool. Click on each different portion that you want to split. Go back to that selection tool. Now we can kind of lift that up and bring this bottom section down delete out these points here and let's say you wanted to create a little minimal shape uh, you can bring that line segment back down maybe up its stroke a little bit and there's a little I don't know piece of minimal split shape art if you guys are interested in that anyway that is how you split shapes up or it's well it's a, it's one way to split shapes there's Lots of ways you can split shapes up, but I think this one's really quick and easy. It's very easy to understand. You can see the line segment. It's like you're creating these guides of like, yeah, I'm gonna split my shape right here. If you liked this video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe and check out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.